All right, here we go. This is my first official video blog entry for oldcowboygames.com. We've got some green screen technology. We have a slideshow of some stock art that I like, just for reasons. I am recording on OBS Studios. I have a blue snowball microphone and some kind of Chinese camera that's doing the trick. If it looks like I'm reading off my screen, it's because I am. I'm not the greatest at freeform chit chat, especially when talking to a camera. Hopefully I get better as time goes on. Today's video is going to be about how I got into Savage Worlds, which is by far my favorite system for play. I haven't played a lot of other systems, but it's still my favorite. When I was a kid, um, my favorite gaming session was a gaming session of Rifts. Unfortunately, we only played one or two, and then we went back to D&D. After finishing school, I fell apart from my gaming friends. There was a couple sessions here and there with new groups, but we never really got into any steady games or routines. And over the years, I really wanted to play Rifts, um, but I couldn't find anyone to play with, which made me sad because uh, I bought a few of the books and wanted to put them to use, and I couldn't. Uh, I did some more digging. I came across a Reddit post that mentioned Savage Rifts, and from there, that led me to YouTube, where I watched a, a playgroup playing Savage Rifts, and it brought back good memories. So, I ordered those books to play, and I set up a game on Roll20. It took me only a day or two, and I had a group, and we were off to the races. Had a good time. One of the players started run, running his own sessions, and we were we played for quite a few months. It was a lot of fun, um, and it wasn't just the setting that I enjoyed. It was the rule system that uh, seemed easy to pick up, but also had enough crunch to it to make the game come to life. Um, after a few months or more of playing, I heard about Interface Zero 2.0, which was backed by one of the group members. I got myself a copy and started reading. Um, the setting is awesome. It introduced me to cyberpunk, and I immediately started working on my own content. I started making my own city, um, districts, uh, I made a map of the city. Um, I, I was putting a lot of work into it, and it didn't take long to realize that my favorite part of gaming is creating for the sessions. I like making content for other players to enjoy. I loved coming up with the fluff, um, adventures that would be fun and interesting to play in. Unfortunately, we never got around to playing in Interface Zero. Um, I do keep a digital copy around, but um, it just never came to light. It was around this time that I had started getting into world building. And it was great fun and a good hobby that I thought I could use for some short stories or something. Um, that something turned out to be using it as a world for tabletop gaming. One of the biggest pieces of inspiration for me um, when it comes to writing and creating is dig digital art. It, uh, it gets my creative mojo going. Uh, I can look at an image that I like, like and find interesting and I want to go there and be part of that universe. And the great thing is, is I can go there and I can take others with me through playing these tabletop RPGs. I decided Savage Worlds was how I wanted to bring that setting to life. Uh, I'm very excited to have a sample book out available now. Um, it's being well received. Um, people seem to be enjoying it, and I love it. So uh, we have a Kickstarter that's live right now for the full version of the book. Um, I hope you check. Hope you check it out. We're about one third funded and only a couple days in, so we're on track. It's looking good. Wish us luck. Thanks for stopping by.